Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Biotinidase Deficiency Introduction Biotinidase deficiency is an inherited disease where the body cannot process the vitamin biotin normally. It can cause many health and development problems if not treated. Biotinidase deficiency is rare. Only about 1 out of 60,000 babies is born with it. Babies can be checked for biotinidase deficiency with a blood test right after they are born. If a baby has biotinidase deficiency but is treated before symptoms appear, health problems will probably not develop. This health education tutorial explains what biotinidase deficiency is, what causes it, how it is diagnosed, ways to treat it, and complications it can cause. What is biotinidase deficiency? Biotinidase is an important enzyme in the body. Enzymes are special proteins the body makes that allow chemical reactions to occur. Enzymes that work correctly are active or have activity. Biotinidase separates the vitamin biotin from protein it is attached to so biotin can do its work. After biotin breaks free from protein, it is called free biotin. People with biotinidase deficiency do not have enough biotinidase activity. Biotin that remains attached to protein does not work properly in the body. The body needs biotin to use and get rid of fat, carbohydrates, and protein. Biotin that comes from foods is attached to protein and cannot be used by the body. When there is not enough biotinidase activity, biotin cannot detach from protein. This results in harmful byproducts collecting in the body. Without enough biotinidase activity, the body needs a lot more free biotin than when it gets from a normal diet. When this is not available, health problems usually result. Biotinidase deficiency can be partial or severe. A person with biotinidase deficiency usually has less than 10% of normal biotinidase activity. Sometimes there is almost no activity at all. Having less than 10% of normal biotinidase activity is called severe biotinidase deficiency. When a person has 10 to 30% of normal biotinidase activity, he or she has partial biotinidase deficiency. Biotinidase deficiency is treated with biotin supplements. The supplement contains free biotin that is not bound to protein so the body can use it. Complications Without biotin supplements, children with biotinidase deficiency may develop symptoms that vary in severity. The worse the deficiency is, the more severe the symptoms are. Symptoms usually appear between 3 and 6 months of age, but may appear as early as 1 week of age, or as late as 10 years of age. Early symptoms of biotinidase deficiency often include various types of seizures and poor muscle tone. Other early symptoms include Breathing problems, skin rashes, hair loss, redness of the eyes, blindness. Poor muscle coordination and delays in development usually happen later. The immune system is also affected, making it easy to get fungal and bacterial infections. Abnormal substances often accumulate in the urine. Hearing loss and a variety of eye problems may develop. The symptoms of biotinidase deficiency can cause damage to important organs like the brain, skin, inner ear, and eyes. They may even be life-threatening. Some untreated infants and children have died from this disorder. An untreated child with partial deficiency is usually healthy. However, symptoms can show up when the child's body is weak from an infection or poor diet. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Newborn Screening 
A baby is usually diagnosed with biotinidase deficiency after a newborn screening before symptoms develop. All 50 states in the United States and many other countries require newborn screenings. However, not all newborn screenings include testing for biotinidase deficiency. For newborn screening, the heel of the baby is pricked after birth, usually just before the baby goes home from the hospital. The blood is put on filter paper cards, dried, and then sent to a laboratory for testing. The blood from one card can be used to screen for several different diseases. To screen for biotinidase deficiency, the activity of biotinidase in the dried blood is measured. If test results come back abnormal, the test may be repeated or confirmed by measuring biotinidase activity in the serum or plasma from another blood sample. If you live in a state or a country that does not perform biotinidase screening on newborns or if your child was not born at a hospital, there are laboratories that will perform the screening for you. Diagnosis Babies with biotinidase deficiency are usually diagnosed by a newborn screening before symptoms develop. If a child was not screened for biotinidase deficiency at birth, he or she would have to be diagnosed after symptoms of biotinidase deficiency appear. Children diagnosed this way may have medical problems for a while before doctors suspect the correct cause. Once biotinidase deficiency is suspected, a blood sample is sent to a laboratory to measure the activity of biotinidase. Urine tests can also confirm the diagnosis. After diagnosis, a variety of medical examinations are done to find any health problems that might have been caused by biotinidase deficiency. This includes eye, ear, and mental examinations. Treatment People with biotinidase deficiency cannot rely on naturally occurring biotin from their diets. For successful treatment, they need free biotin supplements. The recommended dose of free biotin is 5 to 20 mg per day taken by mouth, which provides the body with the free biotin it needs. The size of the dosage is 10 to 20 times more than the recommended dietary allowance. Children with biotinidase deficiency who are treated before any symptoms occur rarely, if ever, develop any symptoms from the disorder. All children who develop symptoms of biotinidase deficiency improve when treated with recommended doses of biotin. The biochemical abnormalities, seizures, poor muscle tone, and skin rash usually improve quickly. Hair begins to grow back over a period of weeks to months. Other symptoms including hearing loss, visual impairments, and developmental delays cannot always be corrected with treatment. Organs can become permanently damaged before treatment begins, however they do not keep getting worse. With treatment, biotinidase deficiency is not a life-threatening condition. Genetic Causes Biotinidase deficiency is inherited, which means children get the gene from their parents. This section explains the genetic basis of biotinidase deficiency. Genes tell the body to make certain substances. Every person has thousands of genes. Our genes make us look the way we do. They also have a lot to do with our health. Each person has 23 pairs of chromosomes. Genes are found on the chromosomes. The gene for biotinidase deficiency is on chromosome 3. This gene is responsible for making the enzyme biotinidase. The biotinidase gene either works correctly or it is defective. We will call the good biotinidase gene that works correctly N for normal. We will call the defective gene that does not work correctly D for defective. Everybody has two biotinidase genes, one from their father and one from their mother. If both biotinidase genes are defective, D genes, the person has biotinidase deficiency. The good N gene is stronger than the defective D gene. Therefore, if a person has at least one N gene, he or she does not have biotinidase deficiency. An NN person does not have a biotinidase deficiency at all. An ND person does not have a biotinidase deficiency but carries the defective D gene. This is a biotinidase deficiency carrier. 
a DD person has biotinidase deficiency. When a couple has a baby, each parent gives one of their two biotinidase genes. Which gene the baby gets from each parent is random. If both parents are NN, their child will not have a biotinidase deficiency. Each parent can only give an N gene, causing his or her child to be NN also. If both parents are DD, which is a rare occurrence, their child will definitely have a biotinidase deficiency. Each parent can only give a D gene, causing their child to be DD also. If one parent is NN and the other is ND, their child has a 50% chance of being an ND and a 50% chance of being NN and no chance or 0% chance of being DD. Since an ND is only a carrier, they will never have a child that has biotinidase deficiency, which is DD. The NN parent will always give a good N gene. If both parents are ND, their child has a 1 in 4 chance of having biotinidase deficiency, or DD. In 2 out of the remaining 3 chances, the child will be a carrier, ND. It's important to remember that each time this couple has a baby, there's the same chance of the baby having biotinidase deficiency. In other words, the couple's first baby has a 25% chance, or 1 in 4, of having biotinidase deficiency, and any other babies they have will have the same chance. If you have biotinidase deficiency in your family, all of your other children should be tested for this genetic disease even if they do not have any symptoms. This will identify children who are only mildly affected or have not yet developed symptoms. Biotin treatment can then be started. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Biotinidase deficiency is a rare but treatable genetic condition in which the body cannot use dietary biotin. Parents who are both carriers for this disorder have a 1 in 4 or 25% chance with each pregnancy of having a child with biotinidase deficiency. Biotinidase deficiency may be identified by newborn screening before symptoms develop. If a baby was not screened for biotinidase deficiency, a diagnosis can be made after symptoms appear. Symptoms include seizures, hair loss, skin rash, and developmental delays. Biotinidase deficiency is treated with a lifelong prescription of biotin, which is very effective in preventing or improving most symptoms. Thank you for using Explain.